Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudo Buyo playing vanilla Minecraft Snapshot 15W47C of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC edition and this is the third in a sequence of videos in which I talk about item elevator design. Uh, in this video I'm going to be uh, talking about how to manipulate items in the stream in order to prepare them for the elevator. Uh, and we can really manipulate two properties uh, of items with respect to the stream, uh, namely item velocity and item alignment. Uh, here we have four different categories of materials with different maximum velocities. And from slowest to fastest, uh, we've got soul sand, uh, regular blocks, slime blocks, and then in the same category are the two different kinds of ice, uh, ice and packed ice. Uh, as expected, items are going to be traveling very slowly over soul sand. There you go. Um, you can see it <laughs> really uh, goes over the soul sand at a crawl. Uh, uh, but I really in, am including soul sand only uh, for its novelty. It's not really practical. Uh, let me grab a block of ice here. Um, although soul sand renders as a full block high, um, in terms of game mechanics, it's only 7 eighths of a block high. Uh, and that means that items traveling over soul sand are actually um, traveling a little bit lower. So. Um, when the I item hits this block of ice, it's not actually going to continue sliding over the block of ice. And that's because the game thinks that there's a little bit of a lip there and the item can't sort of, you know, pop itself up over the lip. So um, soul sand really would only be useful if you're dropping your water stream down by a block. Uh, and that uh, doesn't happen very often, so it's uh, not so practical. But it is interesting to note uh, nonetheless. Uh, all right, in contrast to a soul sand, uh, we've got slime blocks, and slime blocks uh, actually allow items to move slightly faster than they do over regular blocks, and that's because slime blocks are actually uh, slightly slippery. Uh, and of course, items can travel very, very fast uh, over the two different kinds of ice. Um, here again, uh, I'm not really making any distinction between ice and packed ice when it comes to item velocity. Um, they're, they're identical. Uh, but ice is a transparent block and packed ice is an opaque block, um, uh, which can affect later design choices that I'll talk in, in subsequent videos. Uh, the biggest disadvantage of ice is that ice melts when it's near uh, light sources. Um, uh, so it can be hard to deal with if you need a place that's lit up. Um, and, and the biggest disadvantage of uh, packed ice is that it's non-renewable and relatively rare since it only comes from ice spikes biomes. So uh, which one is the better choice for your item elevator is probably going to depend on uh, what's available. Uh, okay, so um, with uh, different materials allowing different velocities, um, we can note that slower materials will act as a break for items that are traveling faster than the slower material allows. So I've got some really long ice-lined water streams. So items are going to be coming very, very fast uh, down, these, uh, down these water channels, and they will slow down very quickly when they hit the regular blocks and the slime blocks. Uh, they should be coming in a second. There they are. Yeah, so um, the items slow down just within a, a block, maybe a block and a half over the regular blocks, and it took, uh, I think, less than three blocks, certainly less than four blocks over the slime blocks. Uh, so when an item traveling over a faster material uh, starts traveling over a slower material, uh, it will slow down to the maximum velocity of the slower material uh, relatively quickly. Uh, in particular, a, a break of two blocks of, uh, of regular blocks uh, is usually sufficient. Uh, besides breaking in water, uh, items have different breaking distances over the different materials without water. Uh, so let me get some items uh, sent down over here. Uh, in particular, uh, items are going to stop within two blocks over regular blocks, within three blocks over slime blocks, and with uh, and, but they can travel more than 16 blocks over ice. Uh, there they go. Uh, you'll note here that the item uh, it looks like it's right in between uh, the two blocks there. Um, it can actually uh, move just barely across a, a full block of regular blocks, um, and uh, it's going to be stopping within three blocks over slime blocks. Uh, but again, they can travel more than 16 blocks over ice. This is actually the 17th block out here. Uh, and what that means uh, with respect to item elevator design is that uh, items can safely travel over a few bare blocks of ice uh, if uh, absolutely necessary, uh, but anything else is probably going to be risky. 
Uh, okay, so uh, in addition to manipulating item velocities, uh, we can manipulate the alignment of items in the stream. Uh, ice line corners like the like the ones that I have here and here, uh, they uh, they will allow items to be aligned all the way to the left or all the way to the right. And uh, we can see ex that's exactly what happened to those two items out there. Uh, but uh, corners aren't actually necessary for this, however. The same thing can be done with additional source blocks um, I I by introducing lateral water flows to the stream. You can see some diagonal water flows here. Also note that I I'm uh, using a break here, as uh, we just learned about over there. Uh, so the items are going to be slow enough by the time they hit this wa lateral water fl flow for the lateral water flow to push it all the way over to the edge. And there we go. It's, it's the same effect as we had over there with the corners, uh, but uh, with some additional source blocks of water uh, rather than corners. Uh, now, it's also a possible to align items in the center of the stream uh, if, you, if you do it with a little bit of finesse. Um, uh, here, the summit item is actually going to be offset a bit, so uh, we get a better sense of what's happening. It's going to drop down onto this uh, uh, onto this breaking area here, uh, so it's going to be going slowly over these regular blocks. It's going to hit this lateral water flow and get pushed all the way over to the right. And then the combination of uh, slippery blocks and non-slippery blocks uh, will ensure that the item has the correct speed uh, when it hits this lateral water flow here, uh, which will push it exactly into the center and out. There it is all the way to the right. And there we go. So uh, we can ensure that the that the item uh, being sent down the stream is being sent down exactly in the middle. And, and that's useful for a few choices uh, for item elevators. Um, although it's not all that practical, it's more of a novelty, uh, uh, but um, it's possible to do just in case. Uh, the important thing to note, uh, though, is that once an item has lost its lateral velocity, it, it will continue to travel in a perfectly straight line until it encounters a lateral water flow. So these items here that were aligned all the way over to the uh, uh, over to the side, for example, I could extend the uh, ice uh, all the way out, uh, add more water source blocks, and just box it in by something like signs, uh, which have no collision mask, and the, the items would never fall off the edge because they are traveling exactly in a perfectly straight line. Uh, all right, these examples here are showing how to align items in a single wide water stream, uh, but it's also possible to align items in a double wide or even wider water streams. Uh, here I'm using anvils uh, to um, uh, to uh, align an item precisely between the two blocks uh, of this water stream here. And uh, we can see that it ends exactly in the middle there. Uh, and, and this is similar to the principle uh, that is used for chest alignment in uh, really high volume water streams when you need multiple hoppers to collect items. Uh, so we can see that the item here is uh, traveling and it got sucked in by this last hopper here uh, and it got picked up by this last hopper here, uh, skipped over these other ones because this hopper uh, is the only one that's not full. But um, if I go ahead and fill it up, uh, the item is actually going to bypass all of the hoppers. So uh, it is traveling over both blocks, uh, this ice block and these hoppers. Uh, the chest, what the chest does is it ensures that the item is going to be traveling over both blocks, but its center point is over the ice, so it doesn't lose any velocity. Uh, and uh, that means that we, we know that items are actually traveling over both, uh, both blocks. And uh, it is, there is some potential for using that for item elevators as well. Uh, over here, for example, we've got this uh, two wide water stream, and if we have items aligned directly in the middle, uh, we could have something that's, uh, say, for example, blocking items here, uh, and when I release uh, release another item, uh, it's um, it's getting stuck uh, um, in between these two blocks, uh, and potentially uh, it's being pushed by the water at the same time it is uh, setting off this pressure plate. So um, uh, that that might be useful for uh, for some situations. I haven't really made use of it yet, um, but it has some potentiality. Uh, okay, I, I think that's all for this video. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about the structure and the components that are common uh, to item elevators of this kind. 
Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments, and thanks for watching.